got Ela, and I got Luna, and I got Bulbai. He's a fantastic boy. Oh my God. These two, Ela and Bulbai are Swedish Elkons. Luna's a Norwegian Elkon. And so we were doing a bit of hiking today. And hallelujah, we get some rain, boy. She's pretty nice. <laughs> We've been dying for rain. It's been hot, and uh, it's put a crimp into our style, let me tell you. But I can get Bullby out today now and, and work him up here. So we're having a glorious time. Hallelujah. So yeah, Ayla, she's a rock star. So Ayla is the aunt to Bullby. Because Rhea is the uh, full sister. Just hang on, Ayla. Come on, Bullby. Come by me, boy. Come. Come on, boy. Hustle, hustle. Hustle. Come on, hustle. Right. Come on up, boy. Right. Let me move over here. Come on, boy. Right. Hustle. Come on, right up here. Good boy. Bring him here, Ayla. Bring him here. Good. Good. There's my boy. There's my boy. Good. Good. So we're working him in the heavy timber and some openings today. Getting him used to hanging out, hanging around. Doing some off-leash work, of course. And uh, we hike for about 20 minutes and we stop for about 20 just hang out like this. I want them to lock on to me like this, right? This is what I look for at the end of the day. Now, it takes them little guys a little while to get to this level, but this is where you want to be at. At the end of the day, you want your dogs to come by you when you stop and hang out. And Bull Bye will do that. He's a first time out in a few days, so he's happy to explore. And it's cool. And it's good, so he's fine. Now, the nature of the dog, you see, is to hang out. And you'll watch, he'll, he'll just kind of cruise around us. He won't get too far away. He was getting a little bit away there, so I called him back. But uh, I don't want his range too far. He sees something, he'll go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good. That's a good boy. Way to go, buddy. Way to go, bull boy. Good boy. Good, good, good. Now when you get him out to where his range is, you can tell him he's good. And it'll work just like that. And, you know, and especially if he goes and sits. I mean, fantastic, right? Good boy. Good, good. What a good boy. What a good boy. So yeah, it's a, this is really good for the forest. And I hope it's raining all over BC, actually. We got forest fires. They burnt the town of Lytton down. A terrible tragedy. I, I donated some money up there. I don't know what else to send them right now. I'll figure that out. I hear there's some organizations getting together to send them some supplies. So I'll uh, definitely chip in and help out. But I sent money in a way just so that they had a couple bucks to do something. I don't know. Not much, but something. But uh, I like to give them guys a hand. I've been down and out before, too, so I know what it's like. For sure. It's a tough spot to be in. I haven't been burnt out by fire, but it's been the same idea. But, uh, yeah. So today we're having a just a wonderful time, I'll tell you. You can't beat it. Just can't be. Yeah. And it's you know it's nice. It's uh, not not uh, the temp dropped to like 15 degrees. We were hitting 45 degrees. So, but uh, what you want to do with these guys, you know, when you're out and about with them, is uh, you got to build the skill for the little guy to hang around you. And the stopping does that, and that's where working off leave is a real, a real test of patience because you want to keep moving and all those things and really and truly all you want to see is the pup play around there. That's really 
half the training's right there. And then, uh, he just learns how to, how to go his range. It's, it's quite fascinating, really. And, uh, works pretty good. And then when you're moving, you see, they stay with you anyway. They're not, they're not wandering around when you're moving anyway. They don't want to get left behind. And so as long as you're moving and not racing, and keep your eye on them, and the model dogs, they go out and check back, go out and check back, go out and check back. So pretty soon he's going out and checking back. Pretty soon he's coming back. He's only 12, 11 weeks old maybe, 12 weeks old. I don't know if he's 12 or 11, but it don't make a difference. But uh, he's heading down to West Virginia, I think it is. Virginia, yeah, West Virginia probably. Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River maybe, I don't know, I can't remember. But Allison is going to be hiking with him most of the time. She's going to train him, make a bond with him and train. And the key to bonding with them dogs is you don't use the word no for the whole first week. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. <laughs> Let them just have fun, be with you. Yeah, no real training. But just walk out in the bush. Yeah. I think Mon was a year old before he heard the word no. Or maybe he was younger, but he was a rock star. Look at this Ayla. Can you believe it? Have you ever seen anything like it? Jesus. This is my girl, boy. This is my girl. Oh, my goodness, Ayla. What a good girl. She's really good. Yeah. This is the loyalty you can build with this breed. You can, it's, it's so rock solid. And uh, they just live to be by the handler. And this is a very polite dog, very nice dog. And can hardly get close enough, you know what I mean? Just a lovely dog. Yeah, beautiful. Because we're in a fair bit of bear here and she would go hunting, I, I run her with a harness on so she knows that we're, we're having to pay attention and focus. But uh, I don't put the lead on her, but she's, uh, she knows where we're working. No goofing around. Plus she's training today. She's got to train. So, come on, Bullby. Come by me, boy. Come on, Bullby. Come on. Come, Bullby. Good boy. Good. Good, good boy. He just heard his name for the first time today. <laughs> so he don't know what it is. <laughs> so he knows good boy, but that's it. He'll take a day or two to know his name. But that's okay. These are Swedish outcomes. I don't know if I told you that. Yampas. Yeah, beautiful dogs. So they originated in Sweden. Northern District, up by Yamtland region, and a lot of bear up there. But these dogs, this lineage came out of Finland, out of the Karelian District of Finland. All of the dog lines I have are out of that region. Heavy bear hunting region there too. Lisa, Anya's mother, looks just like Ayla. She did used to look like a left. She passed on. But she was Finnish bear champion. Bear hunting champion. She looked exactly like this dog. Like to a T. Yeah, I got to see her when I was over there. I was fortunate enough to do that. And I got to see uh, Rico's grandmother at the same time. The world famous Bea. Uh, triple champion Bea. Bear hunter, moose hunter, beauty queen. <laughs> I have not seen Paso's relatives in person. Satu brought Paso over. Paso's the father of Bulbai. Paso's magnificent. His dad is a Finnish hunting champion, so is his mother. Mother's really a good hunter. <laughs> She's really good. But you can't beat Ayla. 
Magnificent, eh? He comes right out with the big dog, just knows we're hanging out. This magnificent fella. Yeah. So I'll give him about another week of training. I think he's going to fly out on the. Uh, well, I don't know the date, but it'd be like seven days from today. Or something like that. Nine days, maybe. Ayla, you bring Bull Bye back here. Ayla! Come by me. Good girl. Good girl. Good boy, boy, boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Get up by me here and say hello. Hey, where, where you been? Where you been hiding? Hey, where you been hiding? I've been looking all over for you, boy. I've been looking all over for you. I've been looking all over for you. I've been saying, boy, 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 boy. Get right up by me here. Hey. You're a good boy. You're some fantastic fella, aren't you? You're some fantastic boy. You're some fantastic boy. I've never seen anybody quite as good as you. <laughs> you are a good boy. Yeah, he says you're a good boy. Steady as a rock, eh? Just steady as a rock. Calm as can be. Yeah, this is a beautiful dog. Oh my God. Yeah, good boy, really good boy, nice boy. Yeah, very good fella. That's my good boy. That's my good boy. Yeah, that's my good boy. Yeah, it's a lovely dog. Oh my God, he's a good fella. You got, you are a good boy. You are a smart boy, aren't you? And that's for sure. Hey, you want to go again? You go ahead. Luna, come say hello. Luna. Hila. What? What? Nice for girls. What? 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 You guys are good. Yeah, so it's a, just a, an amazing thing to get some rain and cool the temps down and just have a lovely hike. You wouldn't believe the scent of stuff here because uh, there's there's so many wildflowers that oh, oh the scent is just rich. The air is so pure and it's so nice. It's quite unbelievable. Be a really uh, nice night to sleep out in uh, camp out. Oh, you would sleep good. Jesus, look at that bull by right on that. Rock. Well, you can't look over. He's on some rock right on the ledge. He's a mountain dog. He's a mountain dog, that boy. I'll put the camera on him. That's a pretty good video. What do you say, girls? You guys find a road and get something to eat. I'll show these people a bull by. Look at them. <laughs> Look at that guy. Ah, he's funny. He's on that cliff there. Is that where you can see him? He's right on the cliff. He's funny. Oh, look at the freaking rainbow there. Jesus, might as well look at that too. Well, how do you like that? Can you see that right there? Hopefully. We're right at the end of the rainbow. There's a pot of gold here. <laughs> I'll tell you, you can't get any more signs than that. Look at that rainbow, holy cow. So yeah, we're full of signs today. 